C solid plus 2H2 no, not 2H2 but 3H2 gas because the total if you see on both sides the total number of hydrogens is 6 so 3 hydrogen let's take 3 hydrogen gas molecules plus half O2 gas because the total number of oxygens on both sides the, the, the number of oxygen atoms on both sides is 1 so let's take one oxygen atom uh, let's take half a mole of oxygen gas so now if you see what I've done is what I've done is that I've taken I, uh, I've taken an indirect route that instead of going directly from this to this I can actually go another way now if you see if you see this arrow the arrow on the left which I can label as delta H1 and the arrow on the right which I can label as delta H2 if you see this then <clears throat> delta H1 is nothing but delta H1 is nothing but the sum of the enthalpy changes of formation the enthalpy the standard enthalpy change of formation of C2H4 plus the standard enthalpy change of formation of water because if you see we are going from the elements to the to one mole of the compounds so it is simply <coughs> sorry it is simply the standard enthalpy change of formation of of ethene plus the standard enthalpy change of formation of water right because the, sta the definition of the stand of standard enthalpy change of formation is uh, the formation of compounds from their elements in their standard states under standard conditions so this is it uh, on the other hand delta H2 delta H2 <coughs> sorry delta H2 is equal to the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol right because from from the elements in the standard states we are going to ethanol in its standard states standard shape so let's take this now we know what delta H1 and delta H2 are and we can find these values in tables because the enthalpy change of formation the standard enthalpy changes of formation are constant for all elements so we can find these values in in, in tables in our data in not in our data booklets but like they will be given to us these values will be given to us because they are known values the standard enthalpy changes of formation are known values so what we can do is then what we can do is that uh, first we'll see our vector triangle so let's make our vector triangle okay first this is a let's take this as a this is b this is c so if you see this vector triangle you will get the relation that b is equal to c plus a yeah because this is the rule of vectors now <clears throat> if you then if you if you apply this rule to this Hess cycle over here this is called a Hess cycle if you apply this rule to the Hess cycle over here then we will realize that delta H2 is equal to delta H1 plus delta H not R so if we want to so delta H not R is what we want to calculate so delta H not R is equal to delta H2 minus delta H1 we just rearrange the equation so this is actually equal to the enthalpy change of formation the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol minus minus the sum of the standard enthalpy changes of formation of ethene and water So this is how we calculate. Now we will know these values from the tables that are given to us. So <coughs> sorry, we will know these values from the tables that are given to us. So we can easily calculate the standard enthalpy change of reaction, right? Now we are done. So let's do another. Let's do some more examples of of Hess cycles so that you get a clear idea. Now. What if we want to calculate the what if we want to calculate the enthalpy change of formation? 
So let's say we want to calculate this. 